Greeting is my noble friend. Here is Lord A, CEO from Red Vampirica, author and DJ International. And this evening we have a very, very special guest. We will interview Elena Fotsi from Kirlian Camera. Hello, Elena! Hello, everybody, and thanks for inviting me. Nossa arte invisível e nosso ofício sem nome é fazermos você esquecer da vida sob o sol. Noites intermináveis de boa música, onde trazemos sonhos que se realizam e a cada nova transmissão entregamos arte, informação, vertigem, visagem e voragem. Desde 2003 somos a Rede Van. da América do Sul e de Portugal. Sigam nosso tweet e descubram um novo mundo. Be very welcome to Acesso Redevamp. It's a true honor for us to realize this interview with you. And you are a great singer and more every time when you see you on stages, your performance transmits great emotion and this electrifies all us. You tell a story with your performance, and this is amazing in radio these days. At the same time, we perceive expressive revolt against an old old world and his stagnant postures. How have you handled with 2020, Elena? First of all, I want to thank you for your words. Being able to communicate with the people who follow us is the most important thing to me. Uh, singing becomes ephemeral if it doesn't convey a message. Uh, also for this reason, I consider that the stage is uh, uh, the base of a musician. So you can imagine how I miss it. In the sense, it can be said that the category we belong to uh, is very unlucky. Not only because uh, it's forced not to work, uh, but rather because uh, concerts are pure life blood for a musician. In any case, both Angelo and I uh, can't stand the self-pity people, so we immediately uh, jumped into new musical projects, putting top, top concentration on composition. At uh, any rate, we couldn't be um, simple observers of an event on the scale, so uh, we tried to dig deep, uh, looking for comparing news, data, statistics, uh, whether they came from uh, uh, mainstream channels or from alternative sources. Uh, in Italy, for example, uh, the economy has been torn to pieces uh, um, and uh, furthermore, the same politicians who mourn the dead on TV, uh, they cut so many funds for health facilities for a long time, so they may be considered taking part into such a mess. The situation uh, uh, has created a real drama, especially to families uh, who have lost uh, the loved ones without even having a, a chance to, to say goodbye one last time. Uh, but it's also true that uh, the worldwide exploitation of this pandemic has given us, we citizens, an opportunity to wake up. And no need to use words such as anarchy or rebellion to understand that the old world is showing all kinds of holes. Divide et impera is the motto of several governments, so we citizens must not fall into the trap of making a war on each other. Each nonsense come up. This is the time to show ourselves united. And most of all, it's time not to turn ourselves into a servile dogs of a power becoming more and more anti-democratic. 
Do you feel that the marks left by the year 2020 will bring some effective change to this abstraction called humanity? Will there be a new normal or will we just return to average 2019 when this whole pandemic passes? If I'd been told about what we have experienced, experienced uh, for almost one year, I have thought it was a joke, a bullshit. But unluckily, this is not the case. Uh, such an event uh, has brought much grief and is ruining uh, the economy system of many nations, as already said. But in addition to the injury, um, here it comes the insult from the absurd and chaotic dictates imposed on us. I'll give you some example of what's uh, happening here in Italy. Uh, don't go out after 10 p.m. While people keep on getting sick or even dying, uh, here it comes the policeman with a ticket because you left home for a garden moment. I have this picture on my mind. A person in pajamas carrying uh, the garbage bag full of single muscle uh, shells at less than 100 meter uh, from my home in, in a totally deserted night. At that point, a flash on him. Uh, it's uh, the police who writes a ticket to the dangerous criminal. And then, for everyone's sake, uh, the Christmas mass uh, was moved from the usual midnight to 8 p.m. How the hell can you think it's not a mockery? And the last gag. Uh, before Christmas, our Minister of Technological Innovation made uh, an appeal to telephone companies uh, so that uh, video calls were free on Christmas Day. On Christmas days. Uh, but <laughs> what here does she live in? But is she not able to understand that in Italy almost everybody, everyone has either unlimited gigas or Wi-Fi? Nothing changes if the telephone companies uh, for a couple of days uh, give us uh, video calls uh, for free because we already use uh, free services uh, such as uh, WhatsApp, Skype, Zoom, Telegram and so on. So uh, let's say that in a vain attempt to avoid death they are putting us in an uh, induced coma. Seriously, uh, all this offends our intelligence. And when you realize that you are inside a joke, you don't like to discover you are the main character, do you? So, uh, to answer your question, um, I couldn't foresee how a post-COVID society would be reshaped. But uh, the severe weakening that now is uh, burdening on us will have some major impact, uh, no doubt. Currently, uh, most folks are obsessed uh, with fear, so are unable to, to reflect uh, on the consequences of unconstitutional actions, uh, such as uh, those foolishly propagated by many states. Furthermore, the pharma companies, uh, the giant of the online shopping, uh, and many other power satanic puppet masters who are used to appear as a philanthropist are ready to get their hands on everything, well pleased with the next big reset. So after the pandemic, uh, things will change a lot. For sure, uh, from a human point of view, um, the feeling will be devitalized. Ah, Hologram Moon is a great name. Evokes conspirations like what really is the moon and his strangeness open a vast creative field to find answers or even new questions. Please, Elena, tell us a bit more about this album, his name, songs. Fake is your face is one of the phrases that most resonate in me when I sing holograms or when in uh, Lost Islands uh, the old world said goodbye. Uh, it's as if you had uh, to face a new reset uh, 
uh, as if you discovered everything you've always uh, believed is swept away in an instant. And there is uh, the awareness that uh, in the face of a new and suffocating truth, um, when the sky collapses, uh, only true love can resist and guide you. Uh, in the sense, uh, um, the final track of the album, Traveler's Testament, is a, a real stone of my heart, as it describes uh, a fantastic journey uh, to a planet. The astronaut is now impatient to fulfill uh, his dream, uh, but he will never arrive on that planet. Uh, the landing will take place on a space uh, station. Uh, the moon landings uh, being questioned uh, over and over again and certain evidence of the facts uh, in consistency eventually seems credible. Uh, but we cannot say what uh, reality is in any scientific way, especially when um, we are already prepared to believe a reassuring source. This is a simple starting point uh, to embark on our history. More than uh, finding answers, uh, our sacred duty is uh, to open the door um, to new questions, ask uh, doubts, um, not take anything for granted. Hologramon uh, is a purely poetic vision, but also a way to question everything. The mind can atrophy very easily. Uh, habit, uh, for example, can be complicit in this. And uh, the so-called comfort zone uh, can be complicit in this as well. The hypnosis uh, um, that we suffer every day uh, without realizing it, also grinding so many and bad TV shows, and so on. So let's remain thinking and dreaming. This is a message from us. How was the experience of working with Covenant? Ask you Simonson on the beautiful song Sky Collapse. Uh, we had come across Covenant several times uh, before doing uh, this collaboration uh, on festival occasions uh, in the dressing rooms. Um, but, it, uh, but always uh, was a chaotic uh, situation. Uh, so we gave uh, um, each other a fleeting smile, uh, a kind greetings, but nothing more. Uh, then, when Angela and I um, wrote Sky Collapse, uh, we immediately uh, thought that a deep and sincere voice like Eskels uh, would add something precious uh, to the song. Uh, even before recording the two voice song, we met at a charity festival. We had uh, called him uh, as a guest, uh, just uh, um, to sing this, uh, this song uh, together, uh, which was uh, yet unreleased. Uh, he made himself available immediately. Uh, it was a nice gift for us, and uh, when uh, the moment came, I think that on the stage you could feel my strong emotion uh, all the way down the hall. <laughs> Well, I think now we will have our fun moment, okay? Let's talk about some Kirlian camera songs that our DJs and the audience of the Red Vamp love it. Do I speak the name and may you tell a little about the meaning, influences or a curious histories of these songs? Night Glory. Uh, well, Night Glory uh, refers to the triumph of the night perhaps uh, as a momentary spiritual retreat. I'm talking about uh, that precious moment that regenerates your very existence into yourself. The music uh, of the song was uh, born in a symphonic form, very different from how my glory was then arranged. This is a song and an album that have been appreciated by many people uh, only after um, some times, uh, partly because uh, of a promotion that described 
uh, the album as the most commercial uh, of our, in our history, uh, which is uh, absolutely harmful and uh, misleading. Invisible Front and Eclipse uh, um, were even more listenable, for example. Sometimes words spoil your work. Uh, it would be better to listen to the music only, ignoring its promotional presentation. Fortunately, Nightglory has recovered over time uh, till becoming one of the most requested uh, live songs of ours. Black August. In the song, uh, there are various uh, hints coming out from uh, a dark moment in my life. I mean, a period that risked to uh, risk the devouring me. Wounds that uh, take time to heal. Sky Collapse can be considered the, the final act of that period, even if the, the music of the two songs uh, sounds very different, as you know. Black August blends uh, various uh, stylistic dimensions uh, in a single body of music, so many didn't know how to label it at the time, as uh, effectively goes to run free out of the box. A very atypical song that has uh, gained uh, some actual success uh, despite its distinction, uh, which has uh, also brought us uh, closer to fans of uh, dark metal and the so called electronica. Hellfire! I choose this piece uh, to add an echo to the dark period I was talking about above. Uh, in order to exorcise all that negativity. So we uh, went to deal with uh, a theme showing gospel threats, but containing some demonic uh, references in the lyrics. Then I didn't know that the aid president was waiting for us at the scarlet gate of a toxic daybreak with his cold pills. A word play, whoever is following us will understand. K -packs. I wrote this piece in a night when everything uh, seemed dreamy and uh, I almost didn't realize where I was anymore. No, I wasn't under the influence of drugs uh, or alcohol, but all my memories uh, were mixing in a tremendous chaos that uh, needed to reinvent itself and uh, turn into a kind of immaterial fog, in a light but uh, lost dream. Angelo literally translated uh, ma the music and melodies uh, I had uh, written uh, on the stuff. Given both uh, them and my voice uh, the perfect terms uh, to guide the journey. In fact, uh, it's not a complete uh, and uh, static text, uh, uh, but a sequence uh, uh, of uh, dreamy and painful phrases uh, at the same time. I felt that uh, Angelo listened uh, to me attentively since uh, he knew how to translate uh, uh, my, my notes so perfectly uh, into, into written sentences as if uh, he were sending me back into my music. It was magical. Uh, and uh, at Kipex, uh, Angelo and I discovered the other life of ourselves, uh, bringing to light so many uh, breathtaking emotions. And uh, it was uh, just a departure after the suffocating mist of still air, an album we love anyway, and the crepuscular decadence of Stalingrad Valkyrie. Elena, there is a cover of Comfortably numb by Pink Floyd from Killian Camera, but it's a true work of art and I love it. The Mad World cover performed by Expectra Paris is fascinating. Are there some covers from older bands that you would like to record? Well, yes, uh, there are ideas, um, but we prefer to evaluate uh, which are the best. Meanwhile, uh, I tried to produce a version of a Johnny Cash song uh, and I made uh, Angelo interpret it. Uh, I really like the result. It may be used by Stalingrad Valkyria. Uh, 
Yeah. I love your lyrics. What can't Lena be missing when creating new lyrics or musical arrangements? Are there any poetry, films, books or other influences? Uh, mostly everything uh, happens unconsciously. You don't know how many times I realize why I wrote a certain phrase only after uh, a song was released. Uh, but I can say my imagination works uh, mostly by processing images. Uh, so uh, the movies are very helpful in this. Similarly, Angelo and I uh, tap into an imagery that could be part of the quantum physics new era, where uh, multiverse and uh, multidimensionality are both playing an important role. Um, this world appears as a really thin things uh, when compared to the to everything else. Elena, I read in an older interview about a young ladies' homicides club. I found an undeniable reference to the films Noir and the figure of characters called the Vamp and all the charm and spectral magnetism. But I was a little curious. What is this Young Ladies Homicide Club? Uh, well, let's say I imagined an area club created uh, by apparently dead models, dead or so to say disappeared models, in order to get rid uh, of fashion people uh, who were acting a, a bit too naughty. Uh, the work to clean up that world uh, wouldn't be lacking as, uh, after all, uh, it happens uh, in all the professional areas. As for myself goes, uh, I gladly opted in a flash uh, and without a second uh, thoughts for singing and uh, making music, uh, leaving everything behind, uh, buying a couple of scenes and uh, a decent microphone, which I then uh, enriched uh, with uh, various electronic uh, devilry. Uh, kicking away uh, um, possible easy money, uh, foolish nights, uh, cocaine, heroin, uh, uh, stereotyped uh, relationship uh, and uh, absurdly um, worship the wines. Uh, every so often I like to play with uh, the ridiculous and grotesque uh, ghosts uh, of some fashion designers, uh, photographers uh, and uh, evil spirits, uh, then going to recreate uh, noir stories uh, uh, in which everything happens. I also drew some uh, digital comics uh, with a noir glam uh, flavor a few years ago. Uh, it was uh, a fun pastime. While uh, with Killing Camera, I'd been exploring deeper and more fundamental universes. Is there more news on the other way for the Incredibles, Expectra Paris and also for Stalingrad Valkyrie? May you talk a bit more about them? Uh, Stalingrad Valkyrie is a project I'm very fond of, uh, in a special way. Uh, I insisted uh, on getting it back to life uh, after a period of hibernation, uh, which uh, lasted too much, in my opinion. Martiri Morope, the, the most recent uh, album, proved me right, even if it's not a commercial uh, project. Uh, well, it seems uh, our listeners have appreciated uh, the attempt to combine different musical sources in a unique style, certainly linked to the more symphonic and dramatic Kirlian camera page, uh, but also quite free to express itself um, on his own, trying to avoid the most uh, standard patterns of uh, neo-folk, progressive and industrial, uh, without, on the other hand, uh, um, completely ignoring their now distant uh, origins. So, in this small way, um, the new album turned out uh, to be a success. Uh, and I do really like the, this project uh, to keep on living uh, with uh, further fresh ideas. Uh, 
uh, we are currently working on a new chapter which uh, will be released uh, on uh, vinyl and uh, some digital uh, which contains uh, previously unreleased uh, songs and versions Elena how are ready vamp is a platform about cultural vamp and vampires production. And there is a question uh, that our interviews never, never escape. Is there a character or perhaps a vampire history that you never forget? Needless to say, the vampire who, who most impressed me over time uh, can be anyone other than Angelo Bergamini. Not many know that Angelo was the leading actor in a short film entitled Him Re Bakai, shot in the late 90s or so, directed by Antonio Bocchi, the latter owner of the dark electronic project Lux Enodica and the author of detective books. I don't think the film uh, is regularly available or downloadable at the moment, but I know it was uh, also screened uh, at the time in uh, various uh, festivals and uh, reviews, also getting some good feedback. Angelo, Imre and uh, Antonio told me that one day uh, the film uh, will see the light, but at the moment uh, it lies uh, in the dark. You and Kirlian Camera have many, many fans on our events and radio shows. Please leave a special message for our audience. Is there plans for a new jig on Brazil after all these pandemics? Uh, while it's true that uh, we've never been able to, to play in Brazil uh, so far, uh, I'm sure your land is actually right for us. Uh, because uh, I can feel uh, is uh, full of uh, feeling and uh, passion. Uh, so uh, we'd love to perform for you very much. Because in spite of the fact um, it's, uh, it's, it's far away, um, I feel deeply affinity and uh, a certain familiarity uh, with your world. And while we wait, uh, confident that sooner or later we'll succeed in our aim, I want to greet all those uh, who had the kindness to listen to me uh, with a quote from uh, the American scientist and politician Benjamin Franklin. Those uh, who would give up uh, essential liberty to purchase uh, a little temporary safety deserve uh, neither liberty nor safety. To you I send a strong greetings uh, from this more and more alien bunker. It was a real pleasure to stay here. Ciao. Helena, thank you so much by your time and generosity. Thank you, thank you so much. And I see all you in our next editions. E agora em português, gratidão a todos pela audiência desse vídeo. Não esqueçam que todos os dias, de segunda a sexta, sempre às 19 horas, temos acesso Redvamp lá na twitch.tv barra redvan Se você gostou deste vídeo, deixe um curtir, 
compartilhe com pessoas afins e visite sempre o nosso portal redevamp.com. 